on the stage right now saxophone player Ben van Gelder and he was invited by pianist Chapi Torres. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's a big pleasure to be part of this little festival. You're listening to the fantastic Ben Mahader on saxophone. And, <laughs> and I'm Xavi Torres. Uh, thank you. Uh, we just played, uh, the first song was a song by Ben without a name yet. Afterwards, we played it Trinkle Trinkle by Thelonious Monk. And this last song was again by Ben, also again without name. And we're going to play now a song of my of mine called Quarantena Song Number Two. Not a very original name, anyway. Um, yeah, and after that, Daydream. Uh, hope you like it and enjoy the rest. Thank you. 
Beautiful cadenza there, Ben van Gelder on alto saxophone and Chapi Torres on the piano. Chapi uh, is on his way here to the bar to have a chat. In the meantime, I can tell you about Ben van Gelder. Uh, you may know this, you may not know this, that in the north of Holland, uh, in Groningen, is one of the best record stores of Holland jazz record stores, Swingmaster, and that's owned by the father of Ben van Gelder, who you just heard. And here is Chapi Torres. Chapi, good that you're here. That's, that's for you, that's yes. For uh, so, being from Barcelona, Spain, 
How is the Dutch Spring uh, for you at the moment? The Dutch Spring, it's it's a uh, it's the reason why I came here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, yeah. It's tough sometimes, but uh, you know, it's you a, deal with it. Uh -huh. It's fine. You're part of the the Spring sessions. Yeah. Um, were you one of the musicians who uh, grabbed the the theme Spring, uh, or did you think, now, nah, okay? I do something else. Is this, did you put some spring in there for it? Yeah, I mean, automatically it goes already with the fact that we are playing. It yeah. feels like it's, it's, it's a uh -huh. spring vibe. It's like, yeah. hopefully it's, things are coming back and, and uh -huh. normality, it's coming back. And then, but particularly in the songs we chose not, the only one that the, the the original of myself that I just I wrote it last year during uh -huh. the spring. That's okay. as, as spring as it gets. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Just, uh, you live in uh, in the east side of Amsterdam, um, and Ben Vergelder lives in the same building. Yeah. As you, it's a building where a lot of musicians live. Yeah. Uh, so you Ben told me uh, that he he heard you play. Uh, practice Bach sometimes. Yeah. And do you hear him play also? I do. I do. We have a guy in the middle. So it is like one one flat. Yeah. What does he play in the middle? Who's uh, that? He's a bass player. Okay. So it's it's not loud. It's fine. Okay. But uh, yeah, but that makes it fine because we hear each other, but it's not super loud. So it's like, okay. ah, look, Ben is practicing. Okay. I should practice too. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the vibe. It's, it is good. Like, uh, uh -huh. And is it the first time you play together like this? Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. For sure. It's quite a thing at the Beam House and being recorded and live stream. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. We've played uh, a bunch of times in like quartet or like yeah. with rhythm yeah, yeah. sections. But yeah, it, mm -hmm. it is for sure an honor. What made you decide, okay, when you were, because you were asked to to choose a yeah. partner, what made you decide to I was actually, them? to be honest, uh, suggested the, the name of, of uh -huh. Ben already, to, and I absolutely say yes. I mean, yeah. I would yeah. probably have uh, suggested it myself also. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, I don't know, Ben is, is kind of like an icon of, of at least our generation. He's uh, uh -huh. a, a magnificent player, it's, yeah. it's amazing, so it's... Yeah, it was an opportunity for me to play such in a in a naked, so to say, yeah. uh, setting like yeah. duo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's still more interaction in between the two of us, and yeah, less protection because we are mm -hmm. alone. And yeah, so it makes it fun and yeah. excitement also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you in general uh, in in normal circumstances a jam session guy? Are you somebody who goes to jam session and plays a lot? Or are you more this kind of artist working on their own projects? You have a wonderful solo album, for example. Thank you. Came out. Um, um, a bit uh, both. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I combine it. I play in, in in a bunch of bands also as a like a sideman or in projects of other yeah. musicians, which I like a lot. Mm -hmm. so just like go there and play. And then when there were jam sessions, I, I used I used to go. Yeah. Also, like I, I like it, and then. Like the balance when when I, I like to find my time to work on my on my stuff and mm -hmm. write some music and visualize where I, how well work in my in my yeah. on my music but but also jam sessions or sessions at home or, or mm -hmm. and and other uh, projects of other people yeah, also, yeah for yeah. sure what are you working uh, on now actually at this moment. Uh, well, I've been work I've been practicing a bit for this particular yeah. concert because, yeah. as I said, it was quite a challenge to play the duo here with Ben. But um, besides that, I have um, like I've been playing with other projects, so mm -hmm. Sidman, as I said, and then my own. I, I have this uh, Beethoven project where we yeah. play with Joris Rulof and Joan Terol, and we I rearranged uh, Beethoven piano sonatas. That was okay. a commission from a hall in Barcelona. And yeah, a couple more things that will okay. come. Uh, coming back to play with uh, in trio again. And okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, things are ha happening, and and you feel also the energy. I think we were talking before with all the the other musicians. Like yeah, it feels that it's the energy is coming back. Yeah. So okay. that's good. Very good, Chaplin. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you for the beautiful music. My and pleasure. And coming here for a little chat. Thank you. We'll keep following you.